Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, and I think we finally have our email server back. So it's weird to be doing the video. It feels like I haven't done one in a while. We get 16 on the Treb system, six more on the Oakville Milton system. Uh, we start off with 371 Bronte, number 113, 2849. Seems like a decent deal. I mean, anything under 300, if you're getting bonuses for the upgrades, like if you have a better looking kitchen, overall you're doing pretty well. I think this one is it looks like a great deal. They put a new AC in it. Uh, Main Street East is 289. It's a Hampton model, so it's a one plus den. And at 290, I, w I would wonder to myself if it's better to go to a two bedroom for maybe just around the same price or a little bit more. I think the future potential and resale value is much stronger with a smaller two bedroom versus a larger one plus one. Uh, we've talked about that in past episodes. So Finney Terrace is 319, looks like a steal. Last year, these were selling for like 305. They had a bit of a low spell. There's some nice wall sconces right there dark cabinets if this one's in half decent shape i mean all of these have been selling in like the 325 330 in some cases even high 330s 319 this one's probably going to sell for above asking price very quickly and there's strong demand for it we have two people uh that are working with our team that are looking for this so they might even battle each other but it's a good price it looks like a decent home uh, Suter is the same style of home, but it's bigger. So it's three sixty nine nine on the price, and we're looking at a current model, which is eleven ninety five square feet. Um, you know, it's one of those things where, like, it's got the two bathrooms upstairs. We haven't really seen the currents cross three fifty, so I think they're a little bit high on here. I think if they were uh, maybe ten thousand less, they'd at least be in the range. But it just doesn't seem like a marketable price. Johnson Heights is 396. It's 1130 square feet. And so it's uh, it's got one big room. They've done the rounded arch, which is an upgrade. Hardwood floors. Nice looking kitchen inside here. Access to the garage plus a finished basement. We sold one that's a little bit older than this. Uh, a little bit eclectic. Nice, nice home. Uh, and we got it somewhere in the 380s for that. We can't release exact prices. 396, you wonder if they're moving. So here's the thing, another way to spot motivation. You've got twins right here in a bedroom that's like 10 by 10. They've grown out of the house. And so there's another way to, uh, to look at motivation as well. And so there's the pictures there. Here it is, possession 8814. So August 8th, 2014, guess what happened? They probably bought home clo closing August 1st, bridge for a week, August 8th is what they're looking for. Um, a little bit high, but I wouldn't be surprised if this one sold for more than 390. Hampshire Way is 424.9. And we got a couple, there's another one in the Oakville list, but it's it's a townhouse. This would be high for Hampshire Way, and it's probably facing the, uh, the other townhouses out, the three-story ones of which we have one coming out next week in the three story in the main living. So watch out for that. It's a nice looking home, nine foot ceilings, hardwood floors. Uh, 165 bustle is 449. Now it's one big long room here. And then you also have your kitchen with the Eden, California shutters, nice upgraded light fixtures. And this is called the Carlton model. So, you know, if you're into the Carlton dance, this might be the home for you. It's not unusual to be loved by me. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. So we've got a uh, good looking home all around builder finished basement. So there's a rec room down here that the builder finishes. And then you've got the slope there, which means it backs onto train tracks. And uh, so you do have a pretty decent yard. Some of them stop a bit earlier. So you are getting a lot more space. Um, Different thoughts about that. People that are close to train tracks sometimes say, hey, you don't even notice it after a while. Other people said, I noticed it every day I was there. Do your diligence, do your homework before you uh, you pick up anything in a location you're just not sure about. So it's not okay to be 99% sure. You have to be 100, 110% sure before you go through with anything. Armstrong is 469. Uh, it's a hidden model. It's like 14, 35 square feet. Nice, uh, Nice wainscoting here. Um, it's a nice looking home and detached at this price does not come out very often. They've upgraded the flooring here. It's a laminate, but it looks like a good quality laminate. 
and then you've got your finished basement so all in all that backyard all this stuff together at 469 seems like a really good deal armstrong has a lot of traffic so that would be my concern is if you've got kids and you want them to play out in front of the home this maybe isn't the right home for you but if you're looking for a good looking detached home at a good price point you go for this basically it's the same range as like a, a basic semi-detached these days so bar crescent's 566 2237 square feet plus a finished basement we have seen this model slightly more upgraded with a finished basement go up in the the 570s so i don't think they're that far off based on what else is sold uh and then you've got uh there's there's where you start to see the basement photos pretty open concept which is what most people look for down in the basement Harley has been listed off and on for uh, for probably about, a, I don't know, maybe a month, six weeks, something like that. 2560 square feet without a finished basement. It's okay to me. I like the outside. I'm not a huge fan of the inside, and there's a lot of homes for sale at, right at that 619 mark. So that might pose some interesting issues for them. Uh, this one is a Mannington corner the this is there's an older name for this I can't think of it but it's about 27 uh, I think it's 27 20 square feet it's got uh, a lot of times what you find with the corners is you come in you've got a living on one side so if we go back to this you've got your living here then you've got a separate dining then you have your family and kitchen same as even like a Wyndham corner on a single garage and I really like the floor plan there's lots of counter space here lots of storage space California shutters, carpet on the main floor. And this model has a really neat sort of gathering space up on the top level. So there's a place where you could have like a little work area and uh, you could have a TV there. It's very, very handy, especially if you've got older kids that want to kind of play video games or get some work done. Uh, I like it a lot. And then you've got your finished basement too. So 27 plus the finished basement, all in all, maybe a little bit on the high side, but it's a nice street. It's quiet. There's not a lot of traffic here. Let's see what happens. Campbell is 725. And uh, so here's another thing. I'll show you how to, I've, I've done this maybe once every week or two on daily homes, but how you check zoning, go to, you can type in on Google, Town of Milton zoning. You're going to get to this page here. You can look at the rural or urban maps. And if you know where to look and, and uh, have a little bit of, of skills with even the GIS and, and all those tools is you can identify where the lot is. And it's actually right here. So it's in a green area. All the white here is all escarpment protected. Uh, so you, you just, you're running into basically like the rural agricultural kind of uh, zoning. So um, you're not gonna be able to build apartments or anything like that. Uh, it looks like a long and narrow piece of property. It looks nice inside. I don't. I like the way the photography's done. Seven twenty-five on this one. I just don't know the depth of the lot. And the other thing is that you're kind of close to. I'll go back to this here. To, uh, oops. Go over to this map. Uh, you got the four hundred one highway right here. So it's not that sort of peaceful rural setting, which can have an effect on your enjoyment. You've got train tracks down here, but I think more consistently you'd hear that 401 highway as being an issue. And then we've got a, one we'll showcase on Wheelhand. I'll show you that in just a couple minutes. And so the Wheelhand lot is right here too. Same kind of feedback about the highway. Uh, let's get back to this list. So bottom line is I like the home. It's 2,000 to 2,500 square feet, somewhere in that range. Um, it doesn't say anything about a finished basement. I like the way it looks bit tough to call on the price we've got leech landing they actually spelled it wrong 749 and it's 3200 square feet at 750 3200 square feet is not bad at all we just saw a 3300 square foot home sell for 840 on a bit of a premium lot so let's see what happens with this one here the five bedrooms plus that price point might attract people we've got rolf terrace here 759 this is um about 2,700 square feet plus a finished basement. And uh, I think they've done a good job inside the home hardwood on, on both levels. And uh, one of the shots really like, to, I'm like, what is going, this shot here, this is, they say it's a crystal stone, uh, what is it? Custom jewel stone walls, wine cellar, 
but you got like hanging meat and stuff like that. I've, Annette warned me about that when she pulled these listings off for me. It looks a little creepy to me, but it could look better in person. You've got a defined front entrance uh, and kind of the same thing as we talked about with, uh, with Morse is that you've got the corner and then you've got the split off between the living and the rest of the space there. So let's see what happens. I think it compares well even having that finished basement uh, to something like more. So we've got Purdy at uh, 1049, no pictures. Uh, basically, you're looking at Brookville, uh, great school up around there. Don't have much to go by. And then we've got Wheelahan, which is in Campbellville. We showed you on the map where that is, 1.265. I'm fascinated by this one that it doesn't have any outside shots. They've got like an in-ground saltwater pool, hot tub, cabana, manicured gardens, but none of that is in the pictures. They've got a bunch of stuff inside the house and it looks like it's more than 3,500 square feet. And it was built in 87. So you figure at about 20 years is when all that roof and windows and all the rest of it you hope that all that stuff has been replaced, uh, in which case you're not going to be f footed with a rather large bill. Looks like almost a walkout uh, basement, which it doesn't really identify in here. Uh, and then you've got a kitchen downstairs. So here's the thing. You put a roof on something like this. I mean, you're probably paying 20 grand for this roof. You've got your windows, which could easily be ten to $15,000. Uh, furnace, AC. So the homes on the street, depending on the condition, can vary greatly in pricing, which makes it sometimes difficult to even price your own house when you're doing the research on those. Uh, it is a bit high for the area, but it also looks like it's got some nice features. And, uh, and then we also have uh, six more on the Oakville list. We've got Hampshire Way, another townhouse, uh, priced a lot lower than the other one on Hampshire Way. And it's got a finished basement, which I like, but there's no photos. Uh, Newell is, I, I don't know if I love the floor plan on Newell. So this is what you see when you come in from the front door. You can take your shoes off on the little bench here. There's a window, you get stairs going up. Then you have a kitchen with an eat-in, but it's completely separate from the living area. So there's not a lot of open concept there. It does mean you get a little bit more cabinet space, but you can't watch the kids while you're cooking and i think generally people lean a little bit harder on an open concept kind of design but semi-detached probably 1500 square feet weird that that's on an angle uh yeah i any any semi under 400 right now certainly gets a lot of attention so i think they're gonna price i, I think they're gonna sell really quick possibly even for more than asking uh, but again, if you don't like open concept, don't bother with this one. Or if you, if you like open concept, don't bother with this one. So we've got a plan five corner here, 1638 square feet. We saw a really big sale for these. They were kind of stopped around like mid 530s. One person came in and, and bought one for like 546 or something like that. And uh, so they've got all the finishes here. I still think that's a little bit small to be paying 550 for but I know exactly why they're they're selling this for that price is because they saw the other one do it. And if it happened once, it means it can happen again. Uh, you've got a wider lot here too. So if you like to play horseshoes, this might be the great backyard for that because it looks really long and narrow. Um, Martin Street is a two, what's the size of it? 230 feet deep. So there's a lot of space there. Uh, a bit of uncertainty about what's going on behind it, so you do want to do your research there. You want to call the town, 905-878-7252, uh, speak to the planning department, get any answers you have, look at the zoning maps. All that stuff becomes critical so that, whoops, let's go back to this one, so that you know exactly what's going to happen as much as possible because plans can change uh, as of today. You know, the only way you're fully protected is the, if you've got a, a fair degree of building around you in certainty and if you're surrounded by other homes, that's probably the only way that you can remain relatively safe uh, when you talk about uh, zoning and planning and all the changes. So uh, pool in the back, 575 seems pretty fair uh, based on what else is sold even on Martin Street. It's a nice drive down Martin Street. Tremaine Road, 625. Uh, this one's right by Kelso. There's a lot of 
let's say like the, I mean it's at the OMB now there's there's a lot of developers that are really eyeing this land around this home and uh, and they're very interested in developing so this whole area of Milton Heights can change a lot I would say in the next five to ten years there's gonna be a lot of things that could happen here so you really need to to weigh your options and say I could be in a different area uh, than I than it currently is in 10 years and then we've got another one on Tremaine here closer to Steeles uh, there's also a 401 Tremaine exit that's being built so they're taking existing Tremaine and they're going to redirect it um, which means this section of Tremaine could find themselves with a lot less traffic uh, but you are going to you are going to notice the influence of being around that development like I said so all of Milton Heights right now I'm a little bit cautious I think many people are is just kind of looking at it saying until we know what's going to happen it's a little bit of a, uh, a Russian roulette game and that's the list for today so nice looking home 879 to me seems a little bit high I mean there was one a little bit further up closer to the dead end that was listed in the sevens that I would say is as good or better than something like this and uh, so yeah it's uh, the price to me seems like it's a little bit ambitious if you have any questions give us a call and uh, have a great weekend hopefully we're back to normal with our emails and our schedule and I sent an email earlier today just about uh, a great investment opportunity not in Milton and I talked about the top 10 towns to invest in in Ontario of which I'd probably cross two of them off the list and I'll show you why Milton's not on that that was an email from this morning and then also there's a uh, there's a huge clothing and accessories and shoe sale at 78 Bowes Street in Milton it's right by downtown our friend Amy's putting it on and uh, and there, there's gonna be huge discounts and deals and all the money's going towards local Halton women's shelters so it's for a great cause and if you need more details just send me a note or give me a call and have a great weekend it's not unusual to go out at any time.